cleaning is cleaning up after death, suicide. We do hoarding and squalor, jobs that no one really wants to do. Life can be very fragile. They can just... This is all animal faecal matter. Everything in here is totally contaminated, so we're disposing of the whole lot. Take your time. There's needles yeah. everywhere. Before trauma cleaning, the family were always the ones that had to do the cleaner because of the experiences I've had. I don't want anyone else to ever suffer. You know that, though, don't you? You know suffering. I do know that. I do know suffering. When I was seven years of age, I was told that I was adopted. We made a big mistake. You are not wanted as our child any longer. Most of my staff have had a bit of a struggle street in life. They're trying to get their way back. This type of work will affect you mentally. It will get in there and it will feed on you. You know, anything when there's like kids around or whatever, it's starting to get to me. <coughs> I've always had challenges in my life and there'll always be challenges in my life, but I'll fight every one of them head first. I've never really thought about looking up my real mother. We don't know what she's going to be like, or even whether she's alive. Ladies and gentlemen, Sandra Pankhurst. Thank you, everyone. The reason I talk about my life is to promote care, compassion and dignity. For somebody who grew up without love, I think there's a lot of love for you in the room. It's not only about the cleaning, it's about what we're doing it for. We're compassionate because we've had shared experiences. There'll always be trauma in life. You just don't know what's going to happen. <laughs>